Hey everybody, I'm Sabrina Soto. Obviously Thanksgiving is all about the food, but for me, it's all about your table settings. I have a few DIY tips how to make your tablescape completely unforgettable. Because I live in California, I thought this year I was going to do Thanksgiving outside, social distancing, it's just a little bit more comfortable. So to bring the inside out, I put down an area rug. This isn't an actual outdoor indoor rug, but it just makes this space feel a little bit more cozy. And then it's all about dressing the tabletop. So I thought, why not make your centerpiece completely edible? The materials you're gonna need to make this edible centerpiece is a basket big enough to really house all of your vegetables, wire cutters, standard chicken wire, and aviary chicken wire, which is a little bit smaller, some craft paper, and a cutting board. So first you're gonna take a piece of craft paper and just cut it the circumference of the opening of your basket. And then we're just gonna use that as a guide to cut the chicken wire. Now I'm gonna cut the larger chicken wire piece. So the first layer is the aviary chicken wire, the smaller gauge. The wire sort of sets it in by itself. You don't have to put any, any of these in. And the larger standard chicken wire goes on top. Now I have all of the vegetables that are gonna be part of my edible centerpiece. Cauliflower, broccoli, carrots. You can use whatever you want. You just wanna make sure that they are blanched. So all of the long skinny vegetables are going to be secure with the chicken wire. The things that can't be secure with the chicken wire, like tomatoes and things like that, will just spill on into the cutting board. Broccoli, celery, tomatoes, you name it. Everything is placed, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now everybody has something to snack on and don't forget to add a little bit of dip at the edge of your cutting board. Such a great centerpiece. And now on to another edible fun DIY, the place cards. A really fun idea is using caramel apples as a place cards. Kids love it, adults love them, they're delicious. Get a twig from outside, make sure to clean it, and you're gonna stick it into the apple. I found some craft paper that actually looked like a leaf. On your craft paper, you just put the name of your guest and then using a little piece of blue dot, you can adhere it to the stem. So that's it, two totally easy edible DIY projects for your Thanksgiving table. Stay safe and have a great time with your family and friends.